In this activity, we're going to grade an assignment that has been submitted to Turnitin. So first of all, we're going to go to the assignments area by clicking on the course navigation, which will load all of the assignments we have in our course. So go to the assignment you have been assigned. I'm going to go to my canvas. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll notice here the Turnitin um, assignment box. So listed here you'll have all of your assignments. Now first of all you'll notice you can have download assignments. So you can download the original files, a PDF of the file and most importantly the grade mark PDF. So this is where you can download all of your assignments with the grades and the markup that you've put on the page. So just clicking back out of that again. Now for each student you can also uh, download individually or delete. So sometimes you might need to delete the assignment so the student can resubmit. On here too you'll notice uh, we have one assignment that's been graded so it will have the result. Uh, the other ones have a, just a pen so they're still to be graded. And on the other side with the similarity, the score will be shown here. So we have a number with zero similarity and one down the bottom with 20. So now we're going to go into the assignment to grade it. So I'm going to click on the pen tool. You can either click on the pen tool or on the similarity score. It would just give a different sort of layer that you come into. So I'll explain that once we go in. So now we've come into Feedback Studio and this is where we'll do our grading. So over on the right hand side you'll notice the navigation. The top layer gives you your two layers. So the two, two tools in Turnitin are the grading and similarity. So grading is when you can put feedback and comments on the page or in general. And then we have similarity, which uh, does an originality check. To turn on and off these layers, you can have both on and off. You can click them in the layer tool area, or you can also click on and off at the top of these areas. So first of all, we'll go into grading. The first tool is quick marks. So quick marks are these little quick marks that you can drag and drop onto the page. You'll notice when you click on individual quick marks that there's actually additional information that's displayed down the bottom. So you can just drag and drop this onto the page. And when a student comes along, they can click on that quick mark and that will display the additional information. The next tool is the feedback summary. So in feedback you can leave a text comment or a voice comment. So this is a comment you leave as a general comment about the assignment that's been submitted. Then we'll move on to the rubric. The rubric has been already set up for this assignment and so we can just drag or click to select different levels. When you select different levels you'll notice the descriptor will be down the bottom so that you can read it as you're grading. So just go through and select the grade that you want for your student. Once you're happy with the grade, click Apply to Grade. So you'll notice at the moment at the top there's no grade. So we'll click to apply that grade. And now the grade will appear at the top of the document. And this will also go back into your grades within Canvas. 
Now you can also click on the page and if you do that you will pull up your quick marks so you can select them from here or you can create a comment. So a comment is something that you can create yourself so if there's something you regularly need to write on your um, when you grade you can put that here. You can also convert that to a quick mark and then store it in with your other ones. And finally the other comment you can put on the page is a text comment. Now we'll move over to the similarity layer. So I'll click to show the similarity layer. So I'll just scroll down where you can see it. So if I click that off, you'll notice that the text that has been detected will disappear and I'll click to display it and we can now see the text that has been detected. So in here you can see where the matches are and this will tell you where the source of that match is. So if I click on that source it will tell me exactly where that text came from that particular page. All sources, so if you have, um, the first one will tell you the main source, the second one will tell you a number of sources where that text comes from. In this instance we only have it coming from one area. So the filter and settings, you can just tweak those. Uh, to reduce maybe some of the um, um, settings that you had, so to exclude some of the quotes, um, bibliography, and finally you can um, exclude sources, so you can restore and exclude sources from your originality check. Uh, the last two settings that we have here are the download, so you can download your assignment again current view so that will be the markup digital receipt is just a receipt saying it's gone through turn it in with some additional details and the originally submitted file and finally the last item here is just information in general about your submitted assignment you can use this too if you want to generate a code and use the iPad. So you can do your grading uh, via iPad and you can do that grading offline. So now we have done our grading for a Turnitin assignment.